एवरीवन सो टुडे विल बी सेइंग द समरी ऑफ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रेडेबल नॉवेल ऑफ चेतन भगत व्हिच इज हाफ गर्लफ्रेंड वेल इट इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट इन मोशन पिक्चर विद द सेम टाइटल एंड द द लीड कैरेक्टर्स आर अर्जुन कपूर एंड श्रद्धा कपूर द मूवी इज ओके ओके बट आई थिंक द बुक इज वे बेटर देन दैट सो या प्लीज डू प्रेफर द बुक इंस्टेड ऑफ वाचिंग मूवी सो द नॉवेल बिगिंस विद द मेन कैरेक्टर माधव झा एंड ही इज फ्रॉम बिहार डुमराव so somehow he managed to take admission in you know stefan which is a very high fi college in delhi and uh, you know through sports quota like he is a very good player of basketball but he felt left out there cuz uh, you know the premises language of stefan is complete english and he is a non english type fortunately madhav helped one of the most beautiful girl of the college riya somani in a basketball match and uh, this is how their friendship began now except their interest in basketball there wasn't anything common in between both of them and uh, also as they spent lot of time together madhuja started growing up with his feelings and started liking riya well this wasn't same with riya she only considered madhu as a friend so once riya went to his room in a boys hostel and uh, there madhu tried to kiss riya in fact he tried to force himself on her and uh, she opposes so there he used a very cheap language and said deti hai to de varna kat le which disappointed riya very much she got angry and she just run away from there having tears in her eyes so after this incident madhu was very sorry for his behavior and he tried many time to talk to riya but riya never allowed but once he did get the opportunity and went to riya so after having a small conversation and getting apology from riya he came to know that she is about to get married with one of her a childhood friend named rohan so there he was heartbroken because he had loved her so really very much she was the first woman in his life whom he had been this much close madhu didn't attend riya's marriage and i mean obviously why would he riya left madhu but you know there wasn't a single day when madhu didn't miss riya After a year or so Madhav completed his graduation he got a job in MNC but discarded to work for them and uh, he was also homesick he was missing his mother and hometown really very much so he decided to come back to Rumrao help her mother in running the royal school when he joined the school he find the condition of the school miserable you know there wasn't enough uh, classrooms there was no electricity there was not even a toilet so he decided to arrange funds for the progress or the development of the school and comes to know from a minister that the bill get one of the most richest men of the earth is coming to their village uh, you know a dumrao and uh, they will visit to their school so if he can give a impressive speech to him so he might fund the school so it was a golden opportunity for madho but how can he give a speech in english cuz his english was very poor so he decided to go to patna and take spoken classes and prepare for english speech until the bill gate comes and so he started his routine of going to patna and taking classes on weekends so once he went to patna to meet a few people in a hotel and uh, there surprisingly he find riya somani like he was he was completely aghast to see her cuz all those those friendship those feelings and uh, uh, the special bonds that they used to share started popping up in his mind so once again their friendship began and uh, riya told him about her divorce she also said that she is working in a company in patna and uh, she wants a decent place to live madho felt happy that he one more time got an opportunity to come close to riya and help her out so next what we see in the novel is that they both started hanging out together and they started spending time together <laughs> meanwhile riya also helped him in improving his english speech once madhav invited riya in dumrao and uh, she meets madhav's mother but uh, his mother didn't like her that much cuz she was married she was divorced and especially her friendship with madhav finally the day of bill gates arrival comes and uh, the function was well organized in fact the speech was also very nice and bill gate actually liked the speech and become ready to fund the school well at the same day madhu finds a letter from riya which says that she has a cancer last stage and she is going from patna madhu stood there dumbstruck he couldn't believe it what happened he was a bit confused like whether he should be happy because finally his school got the funds or he should be sad 
or he should be mad at the love of his life well this is not the end of the novel uh, we see a twist in the novel that riya somani is still alive and she is in new york she had always mentioned her dream to become a singer in new york city which helped madho to find her out so finally madho you know went to new york and after a lot of struggle he finds the love of his life riya somani so both of them hugged each other tightly and uh, promise never to leave Madhav went to Riya's apartment both of them make love together and so now this is how the story